Hello, I am from the Tourism Authority of Thailand. Are you longing for a vacation to end all vacations? How great would that be? Do you love tropical islands? Here are three in one. How about a vacation on a tropical island? Well, shit loads of you stupid rich foreigners used to flock to Koh Tao in the Gulf of Thailand. And some never needed another holiday for as long as they lived. Tragically, more and more people throughout the world have been calling this slice of paradise Death Island. So what's been radicalising all those people? It's watching a documentary. Or reading the news of the rapes and murders in those dreadful news publications that report what's really happening. Like these. And these. And maybe a hundred or more other news publications. But don't you worry your pretty little faces, because the Thai authorities are here to take away all your fears by publicly naming the London teen who was reported drugged, raped and robbed. Arresting a dozen people who shared her story on Facebook. Issuing arrest warrants for foreign editors spreading embarrassing news from the UK and USA. Declaring that murders and suspicious deaths must be suicides or accidents. Blaming victims of fatal diving and boating accidents, especially when it's not their fault. Denying we even know of some deaths. Metaphorically shooting the pesky messengers. Stuffing up autopsies. Withholding reports. Neglecting toxicology tests. Delaying a search for a missing Russian girl for over two weeks. Covering up for our mafia mates. And when all else fails, we get whoever is the current police chief, like Police General Song Yot Kim, to just frame two Burmese scapegoats. And then we sentence the little guys to death. LOL! Now that might seem cruel, but no drama. The scapegoats will definitely be reincarnated and their next lives will be much better. We were only using the poor little buggers as cheap labour anyway. By the way, we don't just routinely use low-status Burmese as scapegoats. Many of our lower-status ties suffer the same fate. Then we shove them into slightly crowded jails like this. So we are really extremely fair. And when your own child's been murdered, we'll comfort you with the same words about reincarnation and tell you to just get over it. It's all in the past and just go home and make another one. That's the Thai way. That's our culture. Just you remember that as guests in our country, we expect you to obey our laws and embrace our culture. So when we piss all over you and tell you it's raining, it's your job to thank us for the explanation. You've heard of monsoons, right? We'd like to thank some foreign journalists, not all of them. Just those who are actually lazy enough to quote the crap our police spokesmen say as if it's actually credible. <laughs> And thanks for not making too much fuss about the 9.5 million US dollars that our retired police chief, Som Yot, got from his mate who owned one of the biggest brothels in Bangkok. Som Yot has already explained that this was just a loan from a mate, and that no Thai cop would do anything corrupt or illegal. Well, apart from taking shitloads of bribes and murdering some people here and there, Anyway, our Deputy Prime Minister got permanent loans of exclusive watches worth about a million US dollars. So if it's okay for him, it's okay for the police. Understand? Now, some of you foreigners have been complaining that the Royal Thai Police are notoriously corrupt. As if that's a bad thing. Sure, corruption might be rampant, but look at it this way. Everyone deserves a second or third chance, right? And if someone has been enterprising enough to accumulate enough money, then why shouldn't they pay some bribe to get away with murder? In summary, truth and honesty? Bad. Corruption and saving face? Good. What's that? You'd hope that in return for you being good guests, we'd be good hosts and obey our own laws? Oh, sweetheart, you're so funny, darling. The locals on Koh Tao are so frightfully caring too. This guy from the island of Jersey got patched up in no time after being glassed in one of those unprovoked attacks. And our aquatic sharks are completely harmless, like the reef sharks and the whale sharks. 
Just don't ask about the two-legged sharks with the date rape drugs. So what are you waiting for? Book your next vacation to Death Island. <laughs> I mean Kotal. And don't forget to bring heaps of money because that's primarily what we want from you.